Hi, people of Facebook. Um, we promised you a question and answer session, but we had a few technical difficulties, as in we didn't have time last time, and then I tried to do it on my phone, but it doesn't have enough memory on it because... Anyway, um, so, okay, so I'm going to do it now. Um, so we've got some of your questions. We're trying to get through as many as we can. So, how long have you been preparing for your competition in total? Did you find it hard to adjust your diet, and do you believe in mind, in muscle-mind connection? All right, okay. I've been tra I've been going to the gym. It depends what you mean by training for your competition. I've been going to the gym for like maybe three years now. Since I broke my hand and then I started going, uh, so I was like going to the gym, but not properly, not like seriously, not with not with a competition in mind. And then um, and then I guess when I went to America to see my sister for a little while, I like put on a lot of weight, and then I came back and I was like, okay, no, now I want to do it like seriously. Um, so I've been with Gilbert since, um, when have I, since September I think I've been with Gilbert. So I guess, so I've been training since September. Um, and then it says, did you find it hard to adjust your diet? Yes, I did. Like, I don't, I like eating healthy. So it's not like I had to cut out like burgers and whatever. I like eating healthy, but I mean, for a competition, it's like a whole other level. It's like, you know, when you have to have like, I mean, for me, I, my body responds to carbs really quickly, so I need to have right now like very little carbs. So I find it very hard to not have carbs and like sugary stuff and fruit. I really miss. Like, I have an apple a day, but like I miss actual proper fruit. Um, and yeah, mind mind muscle connection. Like yes, it. Yeah, I, I believe in it. It's like I guess it's not really something to believe in. It's just it is a good thing. Like when you. If, um, if you want to like activate your muscle, you have to really think about it. Like, just, it just makes sense. Um, okay, next question is from Matthew Clark. Okay, so number, number one is, what got you into the sport of bodybuilding and who are your bodybuilding idols? Um, well, I guess after I broke my hand, I felt pretty useless because I couldn't use my right hand and I'm right-handed. Um, so, I started training and I got like um, my, my friend's friend who was uh, who's a personal trainer and he did a, did a couple of sessions with me and really got me started and helped me with my hand and then I guess the more I went to the gym the more I liked it and the more I could see my muscles develop and my fat disappear um, I I liked it more and more and then like uh, some people at my gym were like oh did you ever think about competing and then planted the seed in my head and then and then I carried on thinking about it and things kept, life kept getting in the way and then uh, my friend Holly competed and uh, really like kicked me to do it, so, oh that's good. Oh okay, um, alright so, uh, then we've got Wesley Knight, he says, what are your views on all the women's physique division and can you see yourself prepping for it? I, I'm doing bikini so it's like a, a long shot away from physique like the Carly Thornton who we had a posing session with today she's physique and it's like a whole different league like their they, their training and their diet is completely different like they have to their prep is is leaps and bounds more difficult than mine um I I don't actually think I could do it so I, I probably I, I'm not aiming for that I, I I don't think I could do it and I respect people that can but I really don't think I could do it uh now we've got Jamie Somerville who says, hi, I'm a vegetarian. I was just wondering how essential is meat to your training diet, thanks. Well, I think we've covered this before in the documentary, but, well, you haven't seen it yet, so yeah. Um, but so I was a vegetarian for years and years and years, like since I was seven. And then I started eating fish again. And then I started eating chicken again. And then when I started prepping, I started eating chicken more and then eventually, uh, I uh, I was just so hungry and I just started fancying beef and I've never wanted beef in my life. I haven't eaten a cow since I was seven, literally. And I don't, can you, really? Um, the, yes, so I, um, I started eating beef and it's like, um, it's so much more filling. I, I, I know you can get your protein from a lot of other sources, like, but it's just, 
I don't know, I just turned it a com into a complete carnivore. Something changed in my brain on prep. But in general, when I was a vegetarian, I, you can find your protein from other sources. I think if you were a vegan, it's very hard. I mean, I know you can do it. I know people that do it, but it's a lot of effort. It, to, if you were a vegan to find enough protein in your food, I just don't know where you get it from. Maybe I'm not educated enough on it. But um, yeah, vegetarian, you, you can find protein. You just got to look for it. And then if you eat fish, there's no problem. Like, but yeah, I went against all my morals. Uh, okay, now I've got Reese Williams. These are all men. Why aren't any women? Oh, here we go. Uh, Reese Williams. Any tips on how to train when your time, well, when you're time poor and you don't have gym access? Also, are you coming back onto your YouTube channel? Well, uh, we are going to update my YouTube channel. It's going to turn into a kind of Dumbbells and Donuts YouTube channel soon. So we're going to be adding lots of short stuff and little teasers and outtakes. So that's coming soon. Um, and uh, the gym when you're time poor, I mean, it's hard for me to believe that anybody really, unless you have like kids and stuff over there. Well, anyway cannot find hot okay fine if you think you can't find an hour in the day to spare to go to the gym that's fine right but then you cannot sit on your phone for half an hour you can't sit watching tv for an hour that all counts that's all time that you could have been spending in the gym you can watch your tv on your phone in the gym right there's no excuse and if you are finding excuses it means you don't want it enough and if you don't want it enough don't go to the gym but you really should want it um but yeah, I, I really, I think the time excuse is a bit of a crappy one. I've heard it so many times. Like if you want something enough, you'll find time. You, like you will. Okay, so Renee Bullock says, do you think someone can build a good muscle base without the use of extra supplements? And how often do you train each muscle a week? Okay, you can definitely build muscle on your own. But when you, um, when you are training, it helps to take like BCAAs and like cod liver oil and multivitamins and vitamin C because it, you should be taking those anyway. But, but when you're training, it's just even more important to keep your body like in tip top condition. Uh, and I train each muscle a week. Now it's different because I'm on prep, so it's all messed up. But I used to train each body part. I guess I would do uh, whatever's lagging, I, do it, I would do it twice a week. So or before I would do whatever's fun twice a week. So I do legs twice a week, but nowadays, uh, I do do legs twice a week now, but it's just a boring version. It's like lightweight and high reps and very, very boring. Um, but normally I do each muscle group once a week. And then if something's lagging, I do it twice a week. 